So we've talked a lot about getting into fat loss via calories in versus calories out. But what if you want to put on muscle? This is an entirely different scenario. As I've mentioned in my calorie deficit videos and fat loss videos, I would not expect to get stronger and I would not expect to put on muscle if you're in a calorie deficit. You're swimming against the tide when you're doing that. So you need to get into a better scenario. Um, focus on one goal at a time. If you're looking to lose fat and put on muscle, you're focusing on too many goals. So what I normally suggest is, yeah, focus on your fat loss. You, you need, should be resistance training anyway, so you're gonna maintain what muscle you have. You're gonna have enough protein in. So focus on one goal at a time. So with that in mind, if your goal is to put on muscle and that's it, then we start looking at getting you into a surplus. So it's the exact opposite of trying to go into fat loss. Now, you've got two options. You can go into quite an aggressive bulk or you can go into a fairly slow bulk. Depends on how you want to do it. I normally suggest the healthier way, like with fat loss, is to go into a slow bulk. So with fat loss, I normally suggest a slow cut so you're going to be dropping calories off uh, minimal amounts at a time. With the surplus, you're going to be adding calories, a minimal amount at a time, just to limit how much fat you're going to put on. It's because you're going to put on some fat, I would say, except you're going to lose that six pack if you have one. The definition is not going to be your goal. Again, focus on one goal at a time. So it's all those equations that I've used in the past, uh, 24... Uh, to 34 times your body weight. Uh, the closer up towards 34, the bit more aggressive your bulk is gonna be. I think I actually misquoted that. I think it was up to 37, so do forgive me on that. Um, I'll double check those numbers, but up to 37 and a bit closer to 37, like I said, is gonna be a bit more of your aggressive bulk. So I would suggest timesing your body weight by around 32 to 34 to find your kind of base level to where, where you work from for your calorie surplus. And then it's a case of rinse and repeat. This is all the exact same as fat loss, but just the opposite. So check with photos, and if you're going the right way, you don't need to add calories. If you find you wanna, uh, it's perhaps plateaued or you're not quite at the right calorie amount, add 100 up to 200 calories, then track for another month and check in once again. If the progress is going the right way, leave it there. If it's not, add 100 to 200 calories, rinse and repeat. Now, when it comes to your training, this is gonna be a bit more specific. Um, make sure you've got your resistance training in, and this is gonna be a bit more of your focus now. So you could probably do higher intensity workouts. You're not in a deficit. You will be expecting to put on muscle, also get stronger. And that's pretty much it. It's not that complicated uh, to track your calories. Again, I would suggest my fitness pal. Um, protein, funnily enough, is not the focus. So in my um, chat about how to find your uh, kind of calorie intake and obviously your calorie intake via protein, I would have suggested up to 2.9 grams per kilo of body weight, which is an enormous amount. And that's because of its satiating properties and its muscle preservation properties. When we're going into a uh, surplus, we don't want the satiating properties of protein. So actually, I would suggest between 1.6 grams per kilo of body weight up to 2.2. I wouldn't really suggest going much higher, again, because we don't want to be satiated. We want to be eating more than we're, what we're used to eating. So for those that are hard gainers especially, you might even want to be going lower towards the 1.6 grams per kilo of body weight because you're gonna be finding it difficult to take on a lot of food. Those who are not such hard gainers, okay, you might be able to go closer to the 2.2 grams that I suggested. I hope all of that has made sense. Thanks for watching.